Hello guys, Shabby Fire here. Welcome to another tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to use Godot's built-in drag and drop system. So here I have a circle, I could drop it in a circle here, but I can't drop it in a square. And then the square, I can't drop it here, but I can drop it in the square here. So let's get started. Alright, so in order to do this, we need to use four built-in functions. First one is get drag data. Second one is set drag preview. Third is can drop data. And then the fourth is drop data. So we're gonna go over these and show you what each of them. Do. First, let's create some nodes. Let's add three texture racks. Let's duplicate this. And we're gonna name these, name this one slot, name this one slot two. And then let's name this one object. Or let's could just say drag object. Make it straightforward. So I have this texture here, right? And I'm gonna just show a texture atlas on each of these. So I could just grab a copy of that texture and then grab the piece that I need, right? Then I'm gonna use that square. And for this one, we're gonna use a circle. Drag them over a bit. Then for the drag object, not a atlas texture. What we need now is a script. We're gonna put the same script on these two guys. Big up here, call it slot, plan drag it on top of this one as well. Right, so what we need to do now is for this one we get the can drop data. So func underscore can drop data. So if you for now we're gonna tell it to return true or otherwise return false. I'm gonna explain those. So if the if the mouse is over the top of this node with this function already set, it's gonna just return true. Otherwise, it's gonna always return false, right? That means you can't drop it any other place rather than other than this, whatever has that function. All right, so next we need func drop data. And we could just pass that for now. So we, have, we have to go over here to create the data. On here now, drag object. We need to implement get drag data. So what I wanna do here is Basically, turn some data. Let's call this for data equals one. Could be anything, like from just a integer or dic full dictionary. And that's what we're gonna use in a bit. But, well, we can use the array too. So what I wanna do here is get the drag preview. Set drag preview. And this takes a control. We can just call it preview for now. Let's just set this to null for now. And then I'll do this. I want to show you guys what we have so far. So, we can now test this scene. We'll get the mouse getting updated. So here I could drag. He's noticed that there's a little thing on my mouse. If I go over this one, I could drop it here. Nothing's gonna happen, but can. This one as well. We have nothing to tell it to not drop on that one yet, so we can program that now. So let's set up the drag preview first. So let's go back on the drag object. So for the drag preview, we can use a another text direct. So we're just creating this text direct to put on the preview. You don't need to parent it to anything or anything like that. So let's say new. And we set this texture to be equal to our texture. So texture equals we could save that now and we could test it out again there you go we have a preview and it's at a weird offset we could fix that but for the tutorial we're gonna just skip so drag it here nothing still happening so to allow us to place them now we have to go back to here to the can drop data or to the drop data i mean because we already have it as true so what we want to do here we could parent it so let's go back to drag object. This data that we have here, we need to pass in something. So let's pass in ourselves first. We're passing the whole drag object as a reference. In the slot now, we know that the data is now the node. So we could say data at get parent, uh, remove child data, let's say add child data. So we're getting the parent. The child the object, we're removing its 
parent or removing itself from the parent his parent and we're grabbing it we're adding it as our child on the slot so we could test that up there you go now part of that drag it over here as well see how that works all right so now say we don't want it to go in a circle now we can mess with the can drop data so on the slot let's export a you know could call it a circle and a square all right so on the control now the drag drag object you want to return an array instead so let's go here the array to be self and number one number one is a is a square and return data do all that and then in the slot now we need to update this so this will be zero now set a parent index zero of the data up here we could say if data at one is equals to the type you want to return true else we return false save and let's go to slots now we have to act specifically set its types so this is already a circle and then this should be a square All right and now if we drag here now let's play that could drop here but i can't drop here anymore pretty straightforward we duplicate this guy now get this drag object let's make this unique then we could change its region to be circle now let's fix its scaling leave it there for now all right so we need to change this one's type to be a sphere or circle i mean oh no we need to actually set it so we can export this one's type now so set it to be the square by default now instead of just sending one we could send the type here so on object two change that to be a circle save now let's run this i'm grabbing the tip here so this can't go on here because it's not a square but it can go here because it's a circle go and the square could go to the square that's it that's it for the tutorial here in my game that i'm working on i have same setup but it's a lot more complex so here i could drag these around to different slots could split this in half could one with shift and control, shift to take half while dragging them, then control to take one. Then I also have swap in places. So this is a gas collector, it can go on top of that, so could even put them back on each other. This one can go on top of that, so they'll swap places. Same as well, mine and laser. Place. This is the map is and this escalate. I could drag them over here as well. From these guys. Technically I don't want them to be over here, but can if you want. Not gonna be doing it. This is bronze, I think. Alright, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching and see you in another one.